Hi everyone and welcome to this channel called Susanna Reacts where I learn all about India with your support. And in today's video, we're going to look into the mysteries, I presume, of Mount Kailash. It, again, it's a topic that is right up my alley. I'm interested in uh, all things history, mystery. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Mount Sarovar Yatra can be a dream that, that each, each one, one of you has. has. Whether, Whether you are, you are Hindu, Hindu, Jain, Buddhist, or anyone else around the world, Mount Kailash is a huge mountain and is located near the source of some of the longest rivers, Brahmaputra, Satlaj, Sindhu, and the Karnali River. Note that... By the way, I, as a European person, have never heard of this, so I'm super excited to, to learn more about. The Karnali River is a tributary of the sacred Ganga River. I know it about is Ganga believed River that Lord Shiva is sitting in an endless meditative posture on the holy mountain. So I don't really know much about Hindu religion and I don't know who Lord Shiva is. So uh, feel free to comment below to let me know. Which soars to over 6,000 meters. Mount Kailash is a very popular mountain worldwide because the peak has not yet been climbed. Wow. It is known as the ultimate journey to the center of the universe. That is One very could exciting. find two lakes at the foot of the peak, that is Mansarovar and Rakshastal. The Sanskrit word Mansarovar is a combination of two Sanskrit words. Manas means mind or intellect, while Sarovar means the great lake or pond. Mount Sarovar has a round shape that resembles the sun and Rakshastal takes the form of the crescent moon. The two lakes represent positive energies and negatives. Another interesting factor is... Wow, so uh, when we would be deeping, uh, deeping, when we would be digging down deep into spirituality, it almost sounds to me like a story of creation uh, with positive uh, and negative polarities creating the world. Very exciting. That Mount Sarovar is a freshwater lake and Rakshastal is a salt water. Wow. The mountain so cool. is one of the highest mountain in Tibet, but it has never been climbed by modern man and is probably wow. never due to its unique religious significance. In 1962, first interest in climbing Mount Kailash began when the famous climber, Huge Rutledge, began to study the north face of the mountain. At that time, he was informed by the British Mountaineering Association that the mountain was utterly unclimbable. While studying the north face, he thought he had found... That's very interesting. Do you, uh, any of you know why this mountain is unclimbable? I'd love to know in the comments below. ...found a way to reach the summit but ran out of time. In 1936, Australian author and climber Herbert Titchy was exploring the area around Gurla Mandhata when he saw the mountain and wondered if it would be an easy climb. When he asked a local lama if the mountain could be climbed, the lama told him that only a man entirely free of sin could climb Kailash. Wow. Despite the fact that many people tried to climb Mount Kailash, but so far no one has been successful. According to a specific hypothesis, the mountain fortress changes position for those who try to climb. Wow. Those who visited the sacred okay. mountain claim to have noticed rapid growth, especially in the visual. nails and hairs. Nails and hair growth, which takes approximately two weeks under normal conditions, occur here in the period of only 12 hours. Wow. Mountain air contribute to the rapid aging process. Wow. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Wow. Wow. This is this is really mind blowing. This is very interesting. I've never personally heard of Mount Kailash and it's uh, not very good aging um, effects that it has on a human body. Um, wow. 
I'm, I'm really impressed. I would love to learn more. Um, I would love to absolutely know why this mountain is not, not climbable and how is it possible that it changes for people that are trying to climb the mountain? What changes? Um, yeah, so if you found this video interesting, uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please do like, share and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and I catch you in my next video. Take care. Bye bye.